How to install Wi-Fi drivers for a newly built PC on Windows 11. If you've just built a PC and you're looking to use Wi-Fi instead of Ethernet, there may be a few additional steps to get this up and running. Today we will walk you through the steps to install Wi-Fi drivers on your custom-built PC running Windows 11, ensuring you can get online this way and make the most of your new machine, whether you're a seasoned builder or a first-time enthusiast. This guide will help you navigate the process with ease and confidence. Before we begin, the specific steps and windows you may see will vary on the brand and model of the motherboard that your computer has, but the steps will be quite similar for any modern motherboard. Another thing to check on the hardware side of things is to ensure that you have your wireless antennas screwed into the gold ports on the back of your motherboard. These antennas should be included in the motherboard box or motherboard accessories box. The first thing we'll cover is to ensure that we get the drivers for your specific motherboard. To verify what motherboard you have, we will open a run window on your PC. To do this, press the Windows key and the letter R at the same time. Alternatively, right-click on the Start button found on the taskbar usually found at the bottom of the screen. In the Run box, clear out anything listed here if necessary. Type in msinfo32 and then click on OK. This will open a system information window that should be on the system summary option by default. On this initial page, you should see baseboard manufacturer, which will be your motherboard manufacturer. In our example, this is Asus. Below that will be a baseboard product or the model number of your motherboard. In our example, it is Tough Gaming B550 Plus Wi-Fi 2. Now that we've verified the motherboard model, we'll want to open up a web browser and head to the manufacturer's website. So for our example, we'll look up the ASUS motherboard model drivers online through Google. Here we will click on the result to take us directly to the ASUS website. Steps may vary on the manufacturer's site depending on brand and model but should be similar. Here we are on the drivers page for our specific example motherboard. We'll locate the wireless or Wi-Fi drivers listed here and click on download. Typically, this will be a zip file. Once this is downloaded, we will want to extract the file if necessary. In the setup folder, most manufacturers will provide a simple .exe setup file to click on and open up to install the drivers automatically with a program. If prompted, for a user account control window, click on yes. Now you may see an application pop up, or it may automatically install the driver to your system. To see if it's been installed, go to the device manager by right clicking on the start button. Expand the options here for network adapters and see if Wi-Fi slash wireless drivers are listed here now. You will now be able to connect wirelessly with your new system. If you don't see it, you may need to reboot your computer after installing the driver and then check device manager again. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more help tips from Micro Center, the best computer store in the world.